The beat of African drums helped drive the message home at this recent celebration in Nairobi, Kenya. Yet aside from the drums, only a select few could understand this message, delivered in Kenyan sign language. Go paint the doorposts of your house with the blood of the lamb. As the angel of the Lord will come, he will see the blood and your household will be saved. You will be saved. This is the Passover story from the book of Genesis, translated for the, the first time for the saved. estimated 340,000 Kenyans who are deaf. I really, deep inside I feel so, I mean, so happy. It's difficult to say, you know, what words I can say, but there was nothing that was there before, and now this is the first time, and I feel that we can do well. I am extremely happy. Paul Njatha works with a Deaf Opportunity Outreach. DOOR, as it's known, trains pastors for Kenya's deaf communities. But uh, as we began the training program, we realized that how, how come these pastors and leaders can teach in their church without uh, a Bible in their language. So they partnered with Wycliffe Bible translators to translate 32 different Bible stories into Kenyan sign language. The deaf people can't read. We can't read and they, they don't understand the meaning of the words. We don't understand any of that. And so the deaf people, how they're going to use it is they can, they can see the Bible in sign language and they'll understand how Jesus relates to them very clearly and they will use it, bring it for their own personal use, they also use it for fellowships and other churches. They will use it in different deaf people's homes. The stories are signed on video and distributed on DVD. This was the day the Bible stories were finally presented to the public. They want to see the DVDs and they can see God's Word clearly. And so many deaf people are asking me, they said, this is clear. We can clearly see God's Word and we can clearly understand the Bible. And so I can see this and I feel so happy and even more motivated and so much passion and excitement within me. The Bible stories played out on the stage will now go to the homes of the deaf. Joseph Murigi is a tailor who leads a house church. It will help my family. It will help other families there. I will use it to help other families there. The Door Ministry also plans to distribute copies to all the deaf schools in Kenya. We could understand the teaching and people will be blessed in a mighty way, deaf people, and especially the deaf people in, in my school. And this is very important to be able to give out the DVDs and the signs. You know, the, I mean, I'm so inspired. I feel relieved that it's finished. They may be finished with the Kenyan version, but now the team is taking on an even greater challenge to translate Bible stories for every deaf language in Africa. Stan Jeter, CBN News.